cast to catch segment for you guys hope you're ready this is an angle of my personal best that most people have never seen as you guys probably know by now we got it all cast to catch three angles total and this angle is kind of off the side of the boat on a boom and I haven't really shown too many people this angle, but you know, I, I want to use this opportunity to give you guys a little bit more insight into this day and the sequence and just the entire experience, man. And most of you guys know this happened in 2013, and the year before that, I had come off a season of bass fishing that most will never realize uh, I was honestly living the dream um, it's kind of how this all started you know I took a two-year hiatus from bass fishing and, and came at it and you know struggled for about a month to kind of get my bearings but the puzzle pieces kind of started coming together for me and once I got on a little bit of a roll, uh, I rode that momentum through a seven-week span in 2012 on one of my home lakes and just really felt like I was in sync with what was going on around me. And for some stats to really gauge uh, what was going on, in seven weeks I had caught 17 fish 10 pounds or bigger all on the swim bait um, probably another two to three hundred fish uh, between five and nine hundred and sorry between five and nine pounds uh, I really don't know it was a lot um, I caught multiple fish a day had a lot of big bags broke 40 pounds six times broke 50 once absolutely incredible but the crazy part was I was really getting upset towards the end of that every time I hooked a giant fish and it wasn't a 15 plus because that's what I had set out with as a goal in mind of what I wanted to accomplish and, and it's an interesting phenomenon right because so many good things are happening things are clicking yet I'm still falling short of my goal, which is a 15 plus pounder. Um, I was getting frustrated when I'd hook a 10, 11, uh, because I, as crazy as it sounds, I was thinking to myself like, man, what else do I have to do? You know, I'm putting in the time, I'm on the water all day, every day. You know, I'm catching fish where nobody else is. And I think that weighed on me a little bit heavier than I anticipated going into the following season. I caught a couple of good fish uh, early in January and February on the mother. But when it came time to late February and early March, when I typically do really well on bigger pre-spawn fish in SoCal, man, I fell into a slump. You know, I, I had gone 15 trips in a row and didn't see a fish or get a bite. My confidence started to waver, and I went from top of the world to like, man, what am I doing? Like, this is crazy. So I ran down to San Diego, fished with some friends of mine, Jimmy and Noy, uh, stuck a couple more nines um, on the mother down there, and, you know, kind of broke that little mental slump I was on. 
and we were fishing one of the local lakes down there in the LA area where I'm from and Scott Whitmer of uh, the Triple Trout and 22nd Century Lure Company was telling me like hey let's go up north and go explore one of those lakes up in the Motherlode region and I was like man you know uh, I don't know uh, and being an LA kid I really didn't pay too much attention of anything north of Pyramid Lake you know I'd never heard of this lake and didn't know anything about it he's like yeah it's a big lake you know and I'm, my first question was does it have big fish and he shows me a picture of this 17 pound 12 ounce bass uh, that was just caught so three to five days later we decide to uh, make the trek up there and I caravan uh, with Scott and Scott's got our buddy Whitney with him and I'm solo we both drag a boat up it's eight hours up from LA never even looked at a map of this place and as you can see I'm fishing out of a, an older tracker with some basic units I don't have my Lake Master charts like I normally do now on my hummingbirds really went out there blind you know we, we got to the lake on a Sunday afternoon about 2 p.m. launched the boats and started fishing or just I'm sorry ran down the lake about 10-15 minutes we came into this big cut Oh, and as you see here from my body language, I just get a big follower. You know, we're talking 10 to 12 pound class fish here. Oh, how do you know it was 10 to 12 pound? Well, frankly, I've caught those fish and I've seen them before they bite. And I've seen them in my hands and I've seen them swimming away. So I got a pretty good reference point to, to base off of. But, you know, the point is it was a good fish. She followed the Hinkle Trout, which at the time was a brand new bait uh, that only a handful of people had access to. So, uh, you know, that big 10, 11 inch size, uh, you know, swim bait and glide bait in this case is a really solid tool for me to draw attention and suck fish uh, up off the bottom and whatever they're living in and really reveal themselves. So. 22 minutes into fishing here, you know, or something like that, I already found one of the right fish, you know, a double digit. And even though she she only followed the bait and, and didn't show really any in, any real interest or body language that, that told me she was going to eat the hard bait, you know, I, I found one of the right fish and decided to make a small adjustment. So I've got a nine and a half inch Batesmith Magnum, never used before, and I'm coating it in a prototype scent at the time that didn't even have a name yet. Well, it turns out that's what ended up being Bass Dynasty in the trout flavor. And this is the very first cast that anybody had ever made with that bait. And I throw it out into 25, 30 feet of water. Um, let it sink to the bottom, kind of looking around like I always do, soaking it all in because I'd never been here before. Uh, never talked to anybody that, that ever fished here. I didn't know anybody up here, really, or anybody that fished it. Regardless of what all the internet conspirators, uh, you know, want to say, like, I know what happened that day. Uh, so do my close friends and the guys that were there. I was there. Uh, this is how it went down, you know. Uh, I just went fishing. A little bit of luck meets opportunity. And what you're about to see unfold is the end result here. I'm, I'm slow rolling the bait, and you can see on the, on the left side of the screen, it's a mix of rock and wood. And I can feel that bait kind of, you know, moonwalking along the bottom. Bounce, bounce, tip, and boom, it loads up. And she comes up, can't quite jump, and right about here, I can really see her for the first time. And I lose my mind, because it's literally the biggest bass I've ever seen, and man, these two or three seconds seem like an eternity. <laughs> And I really wish I could do justice to what that feeling of that fish going into that net really felt like. Oh my gosh. I got an absolute giant.
by far the biggest bass I had ever seen in my own eyes. You guys ready for this? I knew she was over 15 as soon as I grabbed her. I mean, the frame, the gut, 28 inches by 25 and a quarter. That magnum was gone. You know, all you can really see was the nose of the bait. And luckily, I had an owner ST58 treble hook as a trailer because I hooked her on two of those points and the jig hook. And even though the pressure was distributed between those three hook points, that main jig hook still opened up. Um, if, if I had only hooked her on that jig hook, there's a pretty good chance that uh, she would have straightened it up or opened it up enough to roll off. So I got really lucky there. And as always, you know, we got the scale in the boat. You know, people want to harp on cast to catch this, cast to catch that. But how about we take it one step further and cast to catch the scale, cast to catch to board. Gosh, look at the gut. Oh my god. 17. Point four zero. And the feeling I had in those moments is something I truly hope you guys all get to experience one day. Um, especially the salty ones, man. Maybe you guys wouldn't be so angry. Uh, it, it's something truly special, man. And that right there sums it up. Let me know if you guys are down. We might put up another angle. Let's hear it in the comments below. Oh, oh, oh. Yes!